Okay, look at the sixth question. Uh, we have a fraction here. Let's see if this is a proper or improper fraction. Yes, this is a proper fraction. Then you see I have already written down two, two options here. If you look at the second part where you have to expand, you have to apply the binomial expansion here. So uh, we have two options here. So we should be going for the second option because if you, um, ex I mean, write the parts, write three partial fractions for this, you will have to apply the binomial expansion three times. So instead of that, we should be writing two fractions so that we can, um, we only have to apply this binomial expansion um, twice, okay? Now, um, since we have done a lot uh, about this partial fraction. So I believe you must be able to write these partial fractions. Can someone tell me that what are these partial fractions so that I can uh, just focus on the second part? Yes. Please make me write these parts. One over two X plus one. So one over two X plus one and then, yes. Plus four. Oh, your, your voice is fading. Plus four. Can someone else? Four write? X. Uh -huh. Four X. Over X minus two whole square. Thank you. This is four X over X minus. So there's nothing four X plus whatever. It is just four X. Okay. So, uh, so we have these two fractions over here. So see how I will be expanding this. So the first fraction will be, I'll just switch them. This is one plus two X. I can always do that, okay? Now, from the second uh, fraction, you see that I can write it as two minus X whole squared because I have told you now many, many times that A minus B squared can be written as B minus A whole squared. Does any of you have any objection on it? that if we can't write like this, or why can we write it like this? Please ask me, get it cleared so that I can move on. No objection? Okay, so that means you people are clear that we can really write A minus B whole square as B minus A whole square. So I have just written down this X minus two whole square as two minus X whole square. Now in the next step, I am happy with this. I'll just keep on writing it like this until I get this in the required form. So I need to take this two out from these brackets. So when I take it out, two square would be taken as common. This is one minus X over two square. So I'm stopping at this level. If you have any problem, any question, please let me know. There is no problem. Okay, so now, this is basically four is canceled by the four. So we have one plus two X raised to power minus one. And then we have plus X into one minus X over two raised to power minus two. Okay guys, with me or not? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, so sir. Now let's expand this. We have to go up to the uh, show that this is so look at this uh, x squared so I'll be going up to x squared so this is 1 plus n into this 2x n into n minus 1 into 2x squared so on then I have plus x into 1 plus n into this x over two plus n into n minus one over two factorial into this square and so on. Okay, I use, should use the square brackets here. Okay, so now we have one minus two x this minus one into minus two is two, two into four is eight. So plus eight X squared plus X into one plus X. Okay. And this two is canceled by this two. This is minus into minus is plus. So three X squared over four. 
we have three. I think I don't need to write this because this there is an x outside, so I don't need a term in x cube. So I I will not be writing. So this term is not required. Okay. So this is one minus two x uh, plus. Uh, am I doing this correctly? Hmm? Okay. Sir, I have written above me two factorial. Why did you write? Where? Oh yes, that is where I'm making a mistake. You see? Yeah. So this is going to give me. Yeah. Now this is just four x square, है ना? So we have four. This this was disturbing me. Okay. So minus one minus two x plus four x square plus x plus x square, and finally we have one minus x plus five x square. So that is the required expansion. 